Hey viewers, my name is Kara. Another car vlog update for you, and this time I'll try not to press the button and cut off saying goodbye. Um, so yesterday was a roller coaster, and obviously as you are seeing this video after the previous video, there is not another video announcing my little project thingy that I was talking about because also I noticed because of the angle that I'm shooting this video and because of how my glasses are, my glasses looked really crooked. Like, my glasses look like they're like this half the time. I don't... Nobody's eyes are perfectly symmetrical. We know that. Nobody's face is perfectly symmetrical. And these are replacement frames. Like, the frames that I used to have were actually slightly bigger on one side so that they would look even, even though either my eyes are uneven or my ears are uneven, whichever. But these are replacement frames from when I broke the other ones, so they're not custom to me, they're just the right size. So I notice that in videos, sometimes I'm like, God, oh, my glasses look extra crooked and that looks weird. Probably none of you, some of you at least, didn't even notice until I pointed it out, but yeah, you know, if you stare at your face a lot, if you do a lot of mirror work, looking at yourself in the mirror, you probably notice that your face is not symmetrical. And if you take a picture of your face and like cut it in half and then edit it together so you're looking at like two of the same side of your face, it looks weird. Or like even if you flip it the opposite direction sometimes, if you like take a selfie and then when it comes out, it's facing the opposite way because it's mirroring it looks weird because it's not what you are used to looking at. Anyway, that was a side note. So, um, yesterday was a roller coaster. I did not fail at the project because of me failing. I am not able, I was not able yesterday and am not able, period, to do the project, maybe ever, uh, at least not right now, because, okay, here's what happened. So, still without giving it away, um, I have a flash drive that has all of the files from this video project that I've been working on for a long time, and they're on this flash drive that stopped working years ago, and it's one of those situations where if you plug it into a computer and it tells you, like, there's a problem with this flash drive, you have to reformat this flash drive in order to start using it. But when you reformat it, it wipes out anything that was on it. So if I reformat it, then I can use the flash drive again, but it would act like a blank flash drive. Everything that's on it would be gone forever. And there are lots of other video files and projects on it, too, which now, all these years later, I don't even remember what else is on this flash drive, right? But I know supposedly there are people out there who are really good with computers who could retrieve information off of a faulty flash drive, something like that, as long as you don't reformat it and wipe everything. If you do that, there's no hope. So right now, it's inaccessible to me, but I'm still hoping that eventually I'll be able to find someone who can get the old files off of it, whatever. So I have this flash drive sitting around my house that I can't use. Um, but my mom sent me backup disks from everything that I had on her computer when she moved. So I've had these backup disks sitting around for years, but I also had project files backed up on, I thought they were on my old laptop or on another flash drive. So yesterday I got home, I sat down to start working on stuff and realized the files weren't on my computer like I thought they were. I was like, okay. I have the project editing files like from my editing software, but if you don't have the source media files on the computer, having the editing file doesn't do anything. You can't re-render it because you can't do anything with it. If the source files are not present, nothing shows up. So I have all of those, but that doesn't do anything. But the finished videos and like the other project files that I still needed to work on that I thought I had weren't there. So then I said, oh, well, I must have put them on another flash drive. So I checked my flash drive that I always use. It's not there. I was like, well, maybe it's on the flash drive from school. So I got my flash drive from school. I looked through it. Not there. Okay, maybe I put it on the other flash drive for some stupid reason. Checked that one. It's not there. 
I'm like, okay, there's one other flash drive in this house somewhere that I used to keep in my laptop bag. Maybe it's on there. Couldn't find that flash drive. Took me like an hour, finally found that flash drive. Not on there. That was a different video project from school that's on that one. Like, All right, well, I have the backup disks. Now I just have to find those. Took me about two hours. I found the backup disks. There's two of them. I thought there was only one. There's two. One of them says edited files. And the other one has a number of like, there's like 60 raw files on here. You know, whatever it says, like 62 files or something. I'm like, oh my gosh, maybe I have the raw files and I can put these in and then I can re-render all these things. It'll take five ever to re-render all of them, but at least maybe I can do it. So I put in that disc. Turns out, no, those are just the clips from a single video project that I was working on, not all of the videos that I was doing for this other thing. So I'm like, all right, well, at least I have the edited files, right? So there should be like 20 files or something like that in this series. And I put it in the computer and I boot it up and it says there are eight files on this disc. It's only the first eight out of the like approximately 20 that I think should have been on there. And I'm like, did I never look at this backup CD before? Did I just I just took it for granted that they were all on here when my mom sent them to me or because it's been so long. It's been years. I thought I knew that I had them all on that disc, but maybe I never checked. And I could have sworn I've come across these videos time and again, just looking through my stuff. So that would tell me that it's on one of the flash drives that I use most often or that it's on my editing laptop. It's just on the hard drive, but I couldn't find them anywhere. So by that time, it was already time to get ready to go to the theater to see the show. And I was getting really upset about the fact that I can't find these files and I'm not going to be able to do it because I know, and a lot of you might just be saying like, oh, we'll just take the extra time and redo them without again, giving it away. They're not videos that I can just redo. Um, they're things that can never be redone exactly the same way that they were done before, you know? So even though they're old and some things aren't relevant to now, or not that they're not relevant, but things are very different now than they were then. Like for example, when I made those videos, I wasn't vegan. Um, so there are lots of life changes like that. But still, I was like, but it'll still be good to just finally, you know, finish it up and get it done and get it out there. But it's also time sensitive. So like if I hadn't been able to start posting it right now, um, it wouldn't make sense. I can post it at another time if I end up finding all of them. I certainly can. It just wouldn't be as perfect of timing as it would have been if I could do it right now. So yesterday I was like, I was trying to remain calm and just, you know, when there are circumstances beyond your control, you can't do anything about it. You know, like I did my due diligence. I looked at all the flash drives, all the hard drives, everything that I could possibly have. And they're just not there. And if they're just not there, then I can't do anything about it. It does no good to beat myself up over not checking the disc to make sure they were all on there when my mom first sent them to me. Cause if my mom sent me those files and it wasn't complete, even if I had realized that at the time, she still didn't have the other files. She gave me all the files she had. So like that still wouldn't have done any good, you know? So it's just a lesson in knowing when we can't, we can't do anything. It is beyond our control and trying to find out what lesson that holds. So because it was such a roller coaster of like, yeah, I'm going to get this work done. Oh, wait, I can't find the flash drives. Oh, and I can't find that one flash drive that I'm pretty sure it's on. I found the flash drive. They're not on the flash drive. That's okay. I still have the backup disks. Yay, backup. Oh, I can't find the backup disks. I can't find the backup disks. I can't find the backup disks. Why? Where are they? Where could they possibly be? And then, 
ooh, all of a sudden I found the backup discs, hooray. And at that point I was like, yeah, this is a lesson in persistence and following your intuition because the backup discs should have been in a box with all my other discs, all my other storage discs, right? You would think, no, of course they're not where they should be. So I walked by this other bag in my office multiple times and I kept looking at it and going, there's no, there's no way they would be in there. There's absolutely no reason they should be in there. So I checked the desk and I checked the drawer where I keep other things and I checked this and I see this bag again. I'm like, there's no way they could be in there. And finally, when I had looked everywhere else, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to look in that bag. And they were in the bag. So I'm like, just trust your intuition. The first time something tells you, look here, even if you think those things have no business being there, why would they be there? If you have a feeling about it, just follow that feeling. So for a little bit, I was like, oh, this is a lesson in following my intuition and persisting and not just giving up, but like, keep looking. Even if you feel like you've already looked everywhere, clearly you haven't because you haven't found the thing. And uh, so then I'm like, yes, finally I got it. And like, cool. And then wah, wah, wah. (laughs) The discs are not, you know, the files are not on the disc. I was like, are you kidding me? (laughs) So then I just lost it. I just broke down and... I just didn't know what to do. I was like, I can't, I can't do this project now. Like all this time I've been thinking like, oh, it's going to be, it's going to be really late. It's really after the fact, but I'll do it eventually. I'll do it eventually. You know, I'm not doing it right now. It's going to be really late and it'll be awkward to post it so late, but at least it'll happen eventually. And then finally you get to the point where you're like, all right, I'm finally finishing something that I started years ago. I'm finally tying up a loose end this feels great, and then to find out that you can't do it. Not just because you've been procrastinating and you've been working on other things instead and you've been, you know, handling other priorities and so it's all just on you that it's not up. But then when you finally go to do it and find out that circumstances beyond your control have decided that you're just not going to get it done. Maybe ever, because maybe I'll never find those other files. Maybe they're lost forever. You know, it's just like, what is the lesson in this? Is the lesson just to do things quicker and <laughs> and not not wait a long time? That's probably it. It's probably don't bother waiting for the perfect moment to do something, because it may never be that perfect moment. Or the second best perfect moment after, you know, doing it right away, (laughs) the second best perfect moment might not come around for five years. And if you wait that long, something might happen that means it's still not, it's still not that perfect moment. You can't make it happen at the perfect moment. It's never the perfect moment. That's it. It's just, there's no perfect. There is now there is now that's probably the lesson see if i ever learn it (laughs) oh man tell me in the comments some lessons that you know the universe has been trying to teach you that you just continually can't seem to learn and you know better you know it but you just can't seem to make it stick as a habit in your muscle memory Whatever it is, I'm sure you can relate to this somehow. So, yeah. So that didn't happen. And it's not going to for a while. But there's still going to be other videos. There's still going to be lots of other stuff to do and talk about all the time. So, I'll see you next time. (laughs) And I'll still just keep doing vlog as many days as possible in April. So, I hope you're enjoying this at least. I'll see you next time. Until then, don't forget to be awesome, blessed be, and goodbye. Now I'll push the button. Bye.